Hello everybody. In this short video, I would like to show you how you can improve or manipulate the sound of a kick drum, snare drum, or any other drum with the SBL Transient Designer plugin. So in order to do that, let me first open the session that I'm working on, and then open the edit window of that session. And there you can see the top two tracks in red are the kick drum and the snare drum. So first thing I'm going to do to make it easier to work on those two tracks is solo the kick drum and the snare drum. And then highlight a part of those tracks. And put Pro Tools into loop play so we have continuous playback so we can work on those two drums without any dropouts or stops. So let's start with the kick drum, which I'm going to solo first. What you hear now is the unprocessed kick drum as it has been recorded. And I'm going to open the Transient Designer plugin and have a look at it. Now the first thing that everybody obviously can see is that it only has three controls and a few buttons, so it's pretty easy to use and it's pretty self-explanatory. The first thing that everybody might notice is that on the upper right corner, the overload LED is blinking. This can happen if the signal that comes into the plugin is a little too hot. And so we are going to go down to the gain control and we're going to compensate that by pulling the gain down. So now that it's not blinking anymore, we can start working. What does the Transient Designer do? Well, it's pretty easy. The Transient Designer shapes the attack and the sustain of a sound. The attack control increases or decreases the transient or the attack of a sound. So when I bring up the attack control, you're immediately going to hear how the sound changes. On the other hand, when I bring it down, you can also hear what that does. Now you have almost no attack at all. It's pretty much the same with the sustain control. You can increase or decrease or shorten and lengthen the sustain of the sound. So I'm going to bring it up. Now you have an almost crazy long sustain from that kick drum sound. And then I'm going to bring it all the way down. And you can hear how we've cut off the entire sustain of the sound. Now in the case of this mix, I want to end up with a kick drum that is very short and very tight and doesn't have a lot of ring or sustain to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is I'm going to increase the attack with the attack control. Like so. And I'm going to bring down the sustain with the sustain control to make the sound shorter. Now, of course, adding attack to the sound has increased the output gain naturally. So I'm going to compensate that by bringing down the output gain with the output gain control. Well, that's about it. Now, with the on button, I can turn the plugin on and off to compare the sound from before with all the changes and manipulations that I have done. That's the original sound as it was recorded. And I'm going to turn it on and off a couple more times so you can compare. That has changed the sound of the kick drum quite a bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is solo the snare drum channel. And of course I'm going to open a transient designer for the snare drum. Same as with the kick drum happens, it's overloading, which means that the snare drum signal obviously is also a little loud, so I'm going to bring it down with the output gain. Now with the snare drum, it's the same as with the kick drum. If you bring up the attack, you end up with a lot more attack on the snare. And if you bring it down, you lose it. Same goes with the sustain. You can lengthen the sound and bring out that ring. Now this was a wooden snare drum and now it almost sounds like a metal snare drum. That's fantastic. 
but you can obviously also bring it down and make it very short. Close to the point where the snare drum almost sounds dead. And here again, what I want to do with the snare drum is I want to lose some of that ring and give it some more attack to make it funkier and tighter. So I'll bring up the attack. And I'm going to decrease the sustain. Of course, then I have to compensate the output gain as well. Until the LED isn't blinking anymore. And that sounds great already. And I'm going to compare what I've done with the on button. Now it's off. And there it's on. I'll do it a few more times. Now what I can do is unsolo the snare drum channel so we can listen to the entire mix with the transient designer applied to the kick drum and to the snare drum. And then I'm going to turn both plugins on and off a couple of times so you can compare the difference between the sound before and after I applied the transient designer plugin. Now that's just great. The sound of the kick drum and of the snare drum have become a lot tighter and cleaner and they have become much easier to place in the mix. And all of that with the touch of a few controls and buttons only. Now thanks a lot for watching and listening to this video. If you want to find out more about the Transit Designer plugin made by SPL, you can go online to www.spl.info. You can download the plugin and the manual there. You can test it for 14 days without any restrictions or limitations and see and find out what it does for your music and your mixes. So thanks again for watching. Have a lot of fun experimenting around and making music. And until next time, hope to see you again. Bye bye.